more Christmas cards. Well, I actually received about 130 Christmas cards, but every year there's always a few, probably about half a dozen, no more than that, about a dozen cards, which are so good, I feel I've got to keep them for good, put them in my collection. And this one, for instance, is one I'm going to do for next year, actually, is done by Jim Sharp. When you look at it close to the camera, if I can see if it gets into focus, you should be able to see And then if you pull it away back to about here, now it says, Happy New Year. He calls them a Dew Illusion card. It's a lovely idea, this, and he signed it inside. This is actually my first Christmas card I received this year because I had just placed an order of 400 of these. So he was delighted with them, sent it to me in the early December, and that's my first Christmas card. And I think it's going to be my next Christmas card I send out next year because it's a lovely object to go from that to that, and you suddenly get a complete change of words or pictures in this case so what were the words in this case so it's a very very nice card to receive this ledger people who make tiny automatons sent me a charming little christmas card this one here let's see if i can get this into focus bizarre looking father christmas there just made by two tiny little button things and, and a mouth i can't quite make it out but anyway that's from angela and St. lawrence ledger who well, are famous to my mind, and that's the card. It, it's actually in quite a thick card, and it's slightly recessed, so it's protected in itself. And I keep their little mini cars every year because I enjoy them so much, as well as buying their wonderful automata. So that's just for keeping. There's a friend of mine who runs the Origami Society um, up in from Birmingham, and I've been to visit with him sometimes. He's, he, he's very proactive, and he's decided to make a Christmas star this year. And I've got to take this to pieces a bit and find out how to put it together again. I started, he's devised a way of, of making these pieces and folding them. Each, each little piece actually starts as a, as a square of paper and then he folds them in a very neat way to find a way of getting them to interlock so he gets to open up. That's his starting sheet, a sheet of paper like that, silver on one side. And then when it's folded, you've got to make an intricate bit. This bit here has got to tuck over at the top. You've got to tuck over and um, intersect with the other stars. And well, I've half disassembled it now. But it was a very, very charming idea, that. So I'm going to have a go and perhaps get instructions from him about how to make this particular thing. That was his Christmas card. He does very, very nice stuff. And the last one is, I think, my favourite card from the year is this one. It actually came from one of our big... Um, departmental stores actually but it's a beautiful one it's the old um well i i, I say i say it's old but it's, it's it's quite a new technology you probably recognize those where you stroke them and they change over so i'll stroke it now the interesting thing about this is it's got another feature which i've never seen before let me just put it the camera down a bit as i'm stroking it actually i'm going to put it on the here because it's easy to stroke it on a flat surface so pull it like that, all the way around, boom, boom, then including the bottom bits. And we should end up with uh, a nice star in the middle and a sort of surround to it, which is interesting. But the interesting thing is, that's gone silver, and these have changed colour. Well, they've changed colour when you look at it at a different angle. That one, for instance, if you hold it there, is green. And that's now turned blue. How could it happen? It's the same pieces. The silver in the middle doesn't change, but this, the outside pieces forming the outside field of the star go from green to blue. Extraordinary. Very interesting indeed, and very interesting idea that. So it was a Christmas card for the usual thing inside and on the back, but that front bit is really something very, very special indeed. And then you can wipe it all out again, and it just goes black. Those don't change colour. Well, no, they don't. It's, but it's the inside field which changes from blue to green, and that's something I've never seen before. I'm still not quite sure why it works. Have you any ideas yourselves? I do love these, though. But a very, very nice idea. So that's my favourite card for the year. Well done, Simon. <laughs>